Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Arjun Chaudhary. Here are the top stories that are tracking for you on Thursday, the 7th of April. Political parties lock horns as election fever intensifies in India. Attacks on secular writers continue in Bangladesh. Fifth blogger hacked to death. And nationalists not enthusiastic about upcoming elections in Pakistan administered Kashmir. And now for all the details. Political parties in India are charged up as they are trying their best to woo voters in the provinces of West Bengal and Assam. With development and poverty alleviation in agenda, parties are playing their cards tactfully to ensure victory. In an endeavour to woo electorates in West Bengal, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday took a jib at the provincial government and the communists, saying that both the parties in past three decades have ruined the province. The Prime Minister came down heavily on Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee over the flyover collapse in Kolkata, accusing her of not taking responsibility for the tragedy. तो क्या कहते हैं ये लोग ये कहते हैं ये तो एक्ट ऑफ गॉड है दीदी ये एक्ट ऑफ गॉड नहीं ये तो एक्ट ऑफ फ्रॉड है फ्रॉड इसलिए भगवान ने लोगों को संदेश दिया है कि आज ये ब्रिज टूटा कल ये पूरा बंगाल ऐसे ही खत्म कर देगी इसको बचाओ ये भगवान ने संदेश भेजा और इसलिए भाइयों बहनों और इसलिए मैं कहने आया हूं बंगाल को इन दोनों से मुक्ति दिलाए बिना बंगाल की ग्लोरी वापस नहीं आ सकती ऑन द अदर हैंड द कांग्रेस पार्टी इज पुलिंग ऑल स्टॉप्स इन असम वाइल कैंपेनिंग इन असम बारबेटा डिस्ट्रिक्ट अहेड ऑफ द सेकंड फेज ऑफ द असेंबली पोल्स कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट सोनिया गांधी अलेज द भारतीय जनता पार्टी और द बीजेपी वांट्स टू ब्रिंग डिक्टेटरशिप इन असम एंड सेड दैट द रूलिंग पार्टी एट द सेंटर हैज डन नथिंग टू इंप्रूव द प्लाइट ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ द प्रोविंस वो एक ही परंपरा लाना चाहते हैं ताना शाही की परंपरा को मोदी जी भाजपा की मोदी जी और उनके मंत्री असम में घूम घूम कर बड़े बड़े वादे कर रहे हैं लेकिन अपने पिछले दो साल की उपलब्धियों का कोई हिसाब किताब नहीं दे रहे हैं वाल असैम विल गो टू पोल्स इन टू फेजेज वेस्ट बेंगाल विल वोट इन सिक्स फेजेज द रिजल्ट विल बी अनाउंस ऑन नाइनटीन मे Two militants belonging to Hizbul Mujahideen outfit were neutralized by security forces in Shopian district in northern Jammu and Kashmir province in India on Thursday. The security personnel were carrying out search operations in the area based on a tip-off when the militants opened fire at them. The militants were killed in the encounter that followed. Security forces also recovered some weapons from them. Militancy remains a problem in Jammu and Kashmir. India alleges that these militants are trained in Pakistan. With general elections around the corner in Pakistan administered Kashmir, nationalist leaders have little hope as they say successive governments have never ever worked for the welfare of the people of the region and expect no wonders. Pakistan administered Kashmir is all set for elections this June as more than 3 million people are expected to vote to elect 41 lawmakers of the assembly. But not many are enthusiastic. Nationalist leaders say the elections are meaningless as the government of the region doesn't enjoy real power and can't take decisions on its own. जो आजाद कश्मीर के पहले प्रेसिडेंट थे सरदार इब्राहिम खान तो उनको भी मतलब पाँच साल वो भी पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ लड़ते रहे उनको भी कैद में रखा गया फिर के एच खुर्शीद जो थे लिबरेशन लीग के कायद अजम के वो पोलिटिकल सेक्रेटरी रहे तो जब वो इलेक्ट हुए तो उनको भी आर्मी ने गिरफ्तार करके हटा दिया तो अब उसको आज़ाद आप कैसे कह सकते हैं जब एक पर, मतलब हाईएस्ट अथॉरिटी जो जिसको पब्लिक इलेक्ट करके आती है उसको दो बंदे आके पकड़ के ले जाते हैं 
और उसको उठा के तो वो कहते हैं जी नया इलेक्शन होगा तो इस इसको आप कैसे आजाद कैसे Khan says successive governments in the region have failed to address the concerns of the people and have performed miserably kai martaba media mein jo azad kashmir ke ministers hain even ke prime minister sardar sikandar yaad maine khud suna wo kehta hai ji ye ye hamari ye section officer hamari baat nahi mante to aap galiyan dete hain media pe aake Pakistan administered Kashmir which was illegally annexed by Islamabad about 7 decades ago is one of the most underdeveloped provinces and people continue to reel under poverty locals claim that pakistan has been exploiting the region which has rich mineral resources for its own benefits pakistan is trying to create a third taliban group in afghanistan a top afghan police official has alleged This is being seen as a reaction from Pakistan as a group has been allegedly rejecting to claim responsibilities for certain attacks in the war torn country. General Abdul Razak, the chief of police of Southern Kandahar province in Afghanistan said that Pakistan is trying to create a third Afghan Taliban group since the country is infuriated with the outfit for failing to claim responsibility of certain attacks in Afghanistan. This includes the Taliban's rejection of an attack in Shah Shahid area of Kabul which sparked furor among their Pakistani supporters. At the moment, one Taliban group is active in Afghanistan under the leadership of Mullah Akhtar Mansoor and the second is under the leadership of Mullah Rasool. But Pakistan is trying to create a third party under the leadership of Mullah Qayyum Zakir and in this regard Saraj Haqqani a senior leader of the Haqqani network is cooperating with Pakistan Razik said Pakistan is believed to have increased pressure on Afghan Taliban in a bid to bring the outfit on the negotiating table with the Afghan government This comes after Pakistan foreign affairs official Sartaj Aziz admitted that Pakistan has influence on Taliban group based in Pakistan. According to reports, Pakistan has given warnings to the group's leadership to participate in Afghan peace talks or they will face expulsion from the country together with their family members. Moving on to news from Bangladesh. Hundreds of students took to streets of Dhaka to protest against the murder of a Bangladeshi student who criticized Islam. The student was known to have been critical of state religion in the Bangladeshi constitution. He is on the latest in a series of killings of secular activists and bloggers in the country. 28-year-old law student Nazimuddin Samad who had posted anti-Islamism messages on social media and was critical of Islam was hacked to death by a group of unknown assailants. According to police four assailants attacked Samad with a machete on Wednesday night and then shot him dead. Although no Islamic group has claimed responsibility of the targeted killing the manner of the attack was similar to those in which bloggers and free thinkers in Bangladesh were killed by suspected militants in recent times officials stated hundreds of students of Jagannath University on Thursday took onto the streets to protest against the murder and demanded the prompt arrest of the killers প্রস্তাব করতেছি একটা আমার বিরুদ্ধে আমাদের লা ডিপার্টমেন্টে একটা মাস্টার স্যার ভাই ভাইকে নির্মমভাবে হত্যা করা হয়েছে আমরা সুষ্ঠু বিচার চাই এবং অতি সত্যের খুনিদের फांसी চাই The incident comes amid a string of attacks on and murders of liberal writers and bloggers in Bangladesh for their critical views on Islam. Samad's name was among 84 secular bloggers and writers who were on the hit list of radical Islamist groups. Last year suspected militants killed five secular writers and a publisher including a Bangladeshi American activist. India is home to a large number of Afghan refugees from the war-torn country and among them is a group of youngsters who are learning Indian classical music a dream which they could not pursue in their homeland A set of musical instruments and a shared passion for music make these young Afghans rejuvenate far away from home They are students who have been living in New Delhi as refugees. Their curiosity towards the Indian classical vocal started when an Afghan refugee started Salam Music School and invited Mohsin Ahmed Khan Niazi as their teacher. Niazi says roots of classical vocal music in India and Afghanistan are strong. 
अफगानिस्तान इंडियन म्यूजिक जो क्लासिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इट्स ऑल द सेम क्लासिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से तो मेरे को ज़्यादा डिफरेंस लगा नहीं जो रागदारी है जो जो रागों का सिलसिला है जो राग जो राग सिखा जो गाए जाते हैं वहाँ वो यहाँ भी गाए जाते हैं जो अंदाज़ है वो भी अंदाज़ वही है मगर जो वहाँ का म्यूज़िक है जो अफगानी म्यूज़िक है आपका जो पुश्तों में गाया जाता है पर्शियन में गाया जाता है वो तो वो बहुत ही अलग किस्म का है और वहाँ की कंपोजिशंस भी बहुत बहुत ही अच्छा बनाते हैं इन लोग वो मैंने मैं बहुत सुना है स्टूडेंट्स नाउ से दे विश टू मेक करियर इन इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक एज आई ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू लर्न क्लासिकल म्यूजिक बिकॉज इट इज माई ड्रीम टू बिकम इंडियन क्लासिकल वोकलिस्ट और आई लाइक सो दैट्स वाई It was an Indian classical music. Music, be it classical, folk, or western, had suffered a lot during the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. In India, these youngsters from Afghanistan are striving to fulfil their dreams of being musicians. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Political parties lock horns as election fever intensifies in India. Attacks on secular writers continue in Bangladesh. Fifth blogger hacked to death. And nationalists not enthusiastic about upcoming elections in Pakistan administered Kashmir. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/asianewsline and follow us on twitter at asianewsline that's all in tonight's edition we'll see you same time tomorrow good night